This video covers main, median, mode for grouped data. To understand this, consider this question. A policeman was standing on a highway, monitoring the speed of passing vehicles, and recorded the following data in kilometer per hour. With the data recorded, find the mean, the median, the mode, and range of this data. Grouped data analysis can be applied to a large population, like an entire college, large group of pregnant women, how much of people that were flown through an airport in a given period. For such many numbers, using frequency distribution to group your consideration is necessary and unavoidable. Now let's solve for the collected data step by step. Step number one, find the range. From the collected data, the highest number is 78, while the lowest number is 50. Hence, the range is 78 minus 50, and your answer is 28. Step number two, choose a considerable class interval to accommodate the data. Here, we have choose a class interval of five considering the lowest and the highest number and between 50 and 57 i will have a class interval of five to accommodate all the numbers the first one being 50 to 54 that is 50 51 52 53 and 54 Considering this class interval, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Hence, is a class interval of 5. 54, the next is 55 to 59. Then 60 to 64. Then 65 to 69. Then 70 to 74. Then 75 to 79. The last number we got is 78 and 79 a class interval is fine. Since there was no 80, we need to stop. Step number three, draw a frequency distribution table like this. Step number four, fill out the frequency distribution table headings, starting with a class interval then the frequency the midpoint or the class mark the frequency multiplied by the midpoint and the frequency multiplied by the midpoint square then you have a column for the lower boundary the upper boundary the cumulative frequency then the cumulative percentage number five fill out the class intervals first. This class interval must accommodate all the collected data. Though the last number we got is 78 from the collected data. However, you are not going to stop at 78 because it's a class interval of five. After the class interval, next, fill out the frequency. Afterwards, you sum the total of the frequency. Here, the number between 50 and 54 is 50, 52, 53. That's why with the frequency is 3. The number between 55 and 59 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here, we got 6. Next. The frequency between 60 and 64 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here is 5. Next, the frequency between 65 and 69 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here we got 6. Next, the frequency between 70 and 74 is 
one two three four five six seven eight and here you got eight next the frequency between 75 and 79 is one two and here we got two next sum the total of the frequency 3 plus 6 plus 5 plus 6 plus 8 plus 2 and you got a total of 30. Step number 7. Compute for the midpoint which is also known as a class mark. To compute for the midpoint we consider the first row and you have 50 plus 54 divided by 2. To solve this, your answer is 52, which is this. Next, consider this, which is 55 plus 59 divided by 2, which is 57. Do the same to obtain this, and for this, and for this, and for this. Step number eight compute for the frequency multiply the midpoint this is the frequency and this is the midpoint hence the first one becomes 3 multiply 52 and you get 156 the next one is 6 multiply 57 and you get 342 the next is 5 multiply 62 and you get 310. Do the same for all rest. Sum all the FM. And our answer is 1940. Next, compute for the cumulative frequency using the frequency column. This is the frequency column. Hence, we start with the first one, 3. We just write 3. Next, this 3 we add to this 6 and you will get 9. Next, this 9 we add to this 5 and you get 14. Next, this 14 we add to this 6 and you get 20. Next, the 20 we add to the 8 and you get 28. And lastly, this 28 we add to the 2 and you get 30. The sum of the cumulative frequency must be the same as the sum of the frequency. If this and this are not the same, then go back and check where you probably made a mistake. Step 10. Compute for the mean using this formula. Here, we just need the summation of F from the table and the summation of FM. When you got 64, 0.6. After computing for the mean, step number 11, compute for the mode. From the table, the modal class is the highest number of frequency, which is 70 to 74. This is the modal class. Hence, this is the mode. Step number 12, compute for the median. For group data, the median got a formula, which is L N over 2 minus C divided by F multiplied by W. Where W is the width of the class, median class. To calculate for the median, the next step, step 13, is calculate for the position of the median using the formula P is equal to N plus 1 divided by 2. N is equal to the sum of the frequency, which is 30. Hence, we got 30 plus 1 divided by 2. And the position of the median is 15.5. Step 14. Obtain the median class from the cumulative frequency. This median class will be a value equal to 
or next greater than 15.5 which is the position of the median class the position of the median class is 15.5 this is 3 this is 9 this is 14 not yet up to 15.5 then this is 20 15.5 is here we trace this on this row hence our median class is 65 to 69 hence the median class is 65 to 69 having obtained the median class it's now easy to calculate for l n c f and w in this step 15 let's start with l l is the lower class boundary of the median class hence to obtain l it is 64 plus 65 add both of them divide by 2 hence l is 64 0.5. Having obtained L, step 16. Let's obtain C. C is the cumulative frequency of the class before the median class. The cumulative frequency before the median class is 14. Hence, our 14 is equal to C. Hence, C is equal to 14. Now that we have obtained C, next obtain F from the cumulative frequency. F is the frequency of the median class. The frequency of the median class is 6. Hence, 6 is equal to F. F is equal to 6. Now that we have obtained F, next obtain W. W is the width of the class. Finally, substitute into the formula for L, N, C, F, and W to compute for the median. To compute for the median, beware of the brackets. Do this first. Next, you divide it by this. Next, you multiply and finally you add. Computing this carefully, you get 65.3, which is the median. This is statistics. Try out this assignment, computing for the mean and median for this grouped data. You can check out other videos using the steps on the screen. Next topic is on variance and standard deviation for grouped data. I will see you in the next video.